they'll be calling you a radical. This is for Thomas Ackerman. First, I'm like, I was kind of depressed, kind of bummed out today about a few things, but then I got home and I was thinking, I really need to read this. I should have read this online a long, long time ago. It says everything about nuclear, everything. And I'm like, God, I really need to do it. Right as I was thinking, I've got to read this now. I've got to get this up now. I should have done this a long time ago. Knock on the door. It was my mail lady. And one of you beautiful, great community that we have out there who actually had a soul and cared sent me this great, how exciting, very excited to know that her people, they understand, he understands my situation. I think a lot of you do is when I go off on America, I go off in the aggregate. There are so many strong, powerful individuals out there. I know that. But we're just so outnumbered by ignorance and apathy and cowards. I want to read this as the truth about Fukushima. As the IAEA has used a propaganda machine on the United States, let's talk about the rest of the world. Let's talk about the reality. The reality of the countries who never went nuclear. The countries that have freaking made, realized their mistake and gone anti-nuclear, they try to grandstand and posture, even in Germany. And I want to talk about the truth. Nuclear's fucking done. And I'm going to talk about the people of faith, the true Christians, the people that do not participate in usury. There are plenty of them out there, not here in the United States. The United States is land of the fake masquerading, masquerading, maraudering, murdering Christians, the crusaders from hell, the devils in hairspray. As they claim to be Christians, they are not Christians. I want to read this. I should have read this a long time ago. This is from a group of religious faith organization, I'll post the link right here, as they organized in Japan and issued this statement. I think this paragraph right here, as I tagged it, says everything you need to know about Fukushima. Everything, everything. As one Buddhist priest observed, Fukushima has become a place where those suffering inflict pain on each other. Fukushima is crying out. The land and sky are weeping. Please listen to the voice of Fukushima. Please listen to the cries of the lives of the children who are silent. Moved to sober reflection by our experience of the effects of nuclear power and radiation contamination, we prayfully reaffirm the sanctity of life and hereby issue this declaration. Those participating who also attended in 2011 the third Asian inter-religious conference of Article 9 in Okinawa noted some common elements uniting the suffering residents of Okinawa and Fukushima Prefecture, especially discrimination and the violation of human rights. These include the low priority placed on livelihoods of residents and the integrity of creation, the inadequate compensation offered to individuals and families injured by government and corporate decisions, the disruption of communities, and the relationship of nuclear power to nuclear weapons. We also perceive the collusion of government, military, business, and media to promote nuclear power and military bases as beneficial to human beings, which the experience of people in Okinawa and Fukushima contradicts. Our experience in Okinawa and Fukushima further emphasize anew that all life is sacred. I would like to add to that in Utah too, Nevada test site. Based on our research and experience, we conclude there is no safe use of nuclear power, no safe level exposure to radiation, and no compatible between nuclear power and life and peace. Nuclear weapons and nuclear power are two sides of the same coin, developed and promoted by a political, military, and economic complex for its own benefit. Government, the military, and business develop nuclear power for the purposes of war making without regard to life and integrity of all creation. Nations which have developed nuclear power but for force war nuclear arms, disarmation, and the arrogance to believe that they can dominate nature and natural forces in country after country. The construction of nuclear power generated facilities, let alone the creation and maintenance of stockpiles of nuclear weapons, has consumed vast amounts of money, which could have been used to serve human needs. Damage for tens of thousands of years the environment cause death and disease among human beings, animals, and plants, cause changes in human, animal, and plant DNA, place populations at risk from nuclear attack by state and non-state actors, and arrogant to imperfect human beings' decisions that determine the life and death of human and natural communities. We are newly re reminded that all humans make mistakes, but too oft often 
Those who benefit ignore our failure to learn from those mistakes. As people of faith, we commit to care for life unreservably to protect all life and to speak the truth.